Hey guys, what's up? It's Mr. XT back here for our Unity tutorial series thing. And you may have noticed that I have switched to the new Unity. Basically, I updated, stopped living in the past, and uh, yeah. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and sort it out because this looks horrible. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and start my layout. I'm going to go 2x3. Um, and then I'll put this down here. Put this over a little bit. This right over, and then I'm going to click this little thing down here, change that to one column so that's kind of the same to what we had. Come, grab this thing here, there we go. Okay, there we go, that's kind of the same as to what Unity 3 looked like. So now we're going to go ahead and carry on. Let me just center up, see where we were. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and yeah, so. Okay, gone down. Okay. Oh, it's kind of loud. Okay, that's fine. And then the gun can reload and jump in. Okay, so <coughs> what I figured we'll do today is well, what I would do for you to what? Yeah, you guys know what I mean. Let's go into scripts and live. I got a raw thing called scripts. What is? What is? Why? Why do I? No, close, close. Delete. Don't need it. Delete it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a new JavaScript. This is going to be called Player Controller. Now, this Player Controller is going to go and sit on our main camera. Uh, so, just go ahead and click and drag that on. And then let's open it up. Now, one thing I hate about the screen recorder, which is Camtasia, is it changes my theme. I like the see-through arrow desktop theme and now I'm stuck with this. It looks like Windows 95. Well, it doesn't, but still. Okay, monitor develops changed. It actually gives us the awake function. But okay, let's uh, go ahead and create... Um, wait. Yeah, let's go ahead and create a variable called player player obj for object and this is obviously going to be a game object I forget any capsules and stuff game object and we go ahead and close that off go ahead and save that now go to your main camera and we want window animation actually hmm okay duplicate graphics uh, get rid of the mesh renderer and we don't need the poly surface so it's probably just an empty game object change the scaling back to one put the camera inside it and we're gonna go ahead and rename it to a camera location my Apple camera I mean <laughs> main camera so go ahead to window animation and now we're gonna go ahead and create a couple of animations for this. So we're gonna go create a new clip, inside our animation. We're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna call this a camera and an I can't even spell a camera. Oh well, it's just a folder. And then we want wait, we we wanna get rid of this bit at the beginning. We want the cam stand. I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And then record, and obviously it's just going to be where we are now, so just do that and then make sure it's on a loop. Stop recording. So now we have an animation of it <laughs> going from zero to zero, which is a nice cool animation. Create a new clip. Camera items. And then instead of stand, we're going to have crouch. Save that. Hit record. Move it down a little bit. Talk about crouching. It's about there, I think. Alright, now I'm going to make this 0.8. And go ahead and loop that. And that will be that animation done. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new one. And this is going to be prone. Prone. Save that. Hit that record button. And now this is going to be like on the ground, so this is going to be like minus 
1.76. I'm gonna change that to 5 just because you know I like to be whole numbery. Change this to 30, change it to loop, then we gotta add the keyframe. Stop recording. I guess so now we have our three animations attached to our camera location object. So we're gonna create variable camera location obj game object. Okay, so that's that done. It's gonna have variable called players date. That's gonna be an integer and uh, right now we're gonna have equal to zero okay now I'm gonna do this for personal reference you guys don't have to do this um, zero equals stand one equals crouch and two equals prone okay I'm just gonna space them out save that Okay, so now we have our player state. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and go to file, edit even, project settings, and input. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and change this to 23. 23, I think. <laughs> yeah, 23. Okay, and then we want this to be crouch. And crouch, what should we put that with? Uh, crouch can be X. Uh, and then we can have stand. Stand can be C, and then prone can be Z. Right, where's prone? And we're going to put this one as Z. So now we got our input done. Let's go back to our script. Now we're going to have if input dot get button down and then our button is going to be the one we just created so we're going to start with stand okay um, player state equals zero which I have stated up here will be stand so guys can probably get the drift here so we're going to go ahead and copy that twice Um, I just messed up the indenting there, didn't I? Okay. There we go. So now we're going to have crouch. And here we're going to have prone. And then crouch is one and prone is two. So we're going to go ahead and save that. Now if we actually go here and click on our camera location, the script is on the main camera. Okay, let's remove the script from the main camera remove that and then we're going to put it on the camera location instead so click and drag them onto there okay now we'll play object that's obviously first person controller and uh, camera location object that's going to be that's just going to be game object so we actually we don't need that let's get rid of that variable hmm. so that should be that done and now if we don't maximize and we play when we push our buttons it should change to their numbers yeah it changes okay so now we are gonna get it to do something so we're gonna go ahead and create a new function because we like to keep things organized well I do now function and this function is gonna be player Status. I spelled that wrong. Status and I forgot I was gonna say then. Uh, I'm just gonna these out. Okay, let's fix my keyboard. Okay, so yeah, now we're gonna copy this and we're gonna put it at the top of update. So just give some space there. Close that off. Save. Okay, so this is practically like another update function, except it's separate from that one, which allows us to stay more organized, which is a good thing. Um, okay, so in here we want another if statement, and this is if player state equals zero. Uh, we need two equals, don't we? 
Good there. Uh, then we want to indent it, give it some space. Okay, so if it's zero, um, else, wait, 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 wait. Then we'll have, we'll just have another if. Yeah, okay, we'll do it that way. Just copy and paste this. Actually, wait, 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 don't do it yet. I don't. Okay, save that. Uh, okay, so place that equals zero. We want gain. Wait, we just animation the crossfade, and this is going to be our animation that we made. Uh, so, what did we call it? Let's go take a look. Animations, camera items, cam crouch. Cam. Okay, so it's got to be this. Okay, so instead of crouch, it's going to be stand. And yeah, let's go ahead and paste this a couple of times. There. Okay, now let's change this to one. This to two. One is crouch, so we're going to go ahead and put crouch. This one's prone. Let's go ahead and save that. So now if we get a unity. Now if we hit the play button. Wait, let's go to our camera location. Ow. Volume's loud. Uh, you can see that we can now crouch and stuff. But, as you can see, it doesn't actually change the player's collider, so <laughs> that right now it's literally just for looks and effects. And it doesn't like slow down how, you, how fast you move and how slow you move. Which is a bad thing right now. Uh, how long has this been? Okay, well in the next episode we'll work about changing the player and if there's enough time slowing your movement down and everything okay well thanks for watching this episode next one will be out either tomorrow or later on today depending what time i upload this um it will definitely be up because i'm u i'm gonna think about using the upload scheduler uh but yeah thanks for watching and uh, ch check back soon